Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and joining me on the summit today is Josh Roach, who is the assistant coach at USAO in his first season. And Coach Roach, uh, you know what? This first season, it looks like it's winding up on an exciting note, not only for the entire Drover team, but for you as well. You all won the Sooner Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Tournament Championship recently, this past week, and with that came the automatic bid to the NAIA National Tournament. So congratulations on a strong way to finish the season. Thank you, and uh, thanks for having me today. I know that a time like this is going to be exciting anyway. I mean, it's it's postseason. You all came in with five consecutive wins as it was. You made a run through the postseason tournament. But it was a little bit maybe a little bit different script than you might have thought it would be, at least as the season went along. For those of you who are familiar with the USAO program, then you know that Coach Chris Francis has been at the helm for six seasons now and, and has crossed the 100-win plateau this past year in his time at the school. But Coach Francis wasn't on the sideline during the conference tournament. Can you tell us about that and, and what all was going on and what happened this week? Uh, yeah, it's you know been just kind of a whirlwind of a, of a season altogether just with, uh, you know, dealing with COVID protocols and everything. And, uh, you know, just towards the end of the year, it just so happened that he had to go into quarantine and so he couldn't come to the to the games. And so I had to step up and, and take over for him and you know, like you said, it, it's just uh, it was exciting time anyway. But it was just um, you know more adversity that we had to had to deal with, and you know things don't always go as planned. But you know, they <laughs> took it in stride. The whole all the guys took it in stride, and uh, you know it, I think it was good practice for what we're about to see at the national tournament, and just know that you know nothing nothing's given to us. Every, nothing you know don't take anything for granted. What was that like for you then? I, I'm I'm sure that you had an opportunity to visit with Coach Francis off and on over the course of the week, even though he was in quarantine. But really, I mean, was it all on your shoulders? And and how did that feel? Uh, no, I mean, we still talked a lot, and I know I wasn't going to come in and, and reinvent the wheel. I mean, he's <laughs> had a lot of success here. That'd be, I think, very uh, stupid on my part to try to do, and and there was no need to. And with the guys right before the the first game of the tournament and I told him like everybody keeps asking me like are you ready are you ready and I never really worried about it because you know I always trusted that they were ready and that's that's the biggest part like I, game and everything I'm just out there to put them in the best positions to succeed they've done all the work so you know I trust in them uh, that is something I wanted to, to ask about, too. The, the mindset is we're here on the summit on Midwest Sports Net, and I do encourage you, please do subscribe to the to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. We would appreciate that. Speaking with Josh Roach, the assistant men's basketball coach at Oklahoma Sciences and Arts University, of course, USAO. I, that's all I ever say. <laughs> it's USAO. It's a lot easier. But, right. uh, Coach, the, the mindset then of the players themselves, I'm, I'm sure – uh, you know, any way around, it's it's it is an adjustment just because of the familiarity familiarity on the sideline. But uh, you were saying that uh, they were taking it in stride as well. Yeah, um, you know, all all season long, Coach Francis has preached about how you know n tomorrow is not guaranteed, and especially in this year, like we could have a game scheduled tomorrow until we see that team show up in the gym. We don't know that that game is going to actually happen, and you know, the the emotions when it first the news first came because we were uncertain of of figuring out who who might have to be quarantined or anything like that um you know but they did all the all the proper channels and, and we knew that uh, if we got the chance to play we'd be ready and so that's all they did is they stayed ready and uh, they did everything that was asked of them they didn't complain about it they just knew like okay well, let's do this so that we have a chance to play and once once we tipped it up it, you know they just got to have fun so the program is making its 10th appearance in the NAI tournament. Uh, last appearance was in 2019 as coach Francis has done a great job there at USAO and, and continuing to work with a, a, a program that has a pretty, pretty solid history as well, a national championship in the not too distant past. And take us through the tournament. Then you guys escaped Southwestern Christian in that quarterfinal game it was 96, 95. And uh, then you had a, a tough contest uh, after that against John Brown, 88-83 in the semifinals, and it uh, looked like a pretty strong performance then against uh, a rival in Mid-America Christian, 69-50 in the title game. Yeah, um, you know, like you said, you, uh, we kind of escaped that first game. I think the first one was just kind of uh, all those emotions that they had pent up from going through everything kind of came out on the court and 
you know, at first it was, you know, we're missing easy shots or, or kind of put ourselves behind the wheel because we uh, just came out so excited and, and you know, hand it to Southwest Christian. They had a great game plan and, and they really put it to us to start. And we just battled through and, and kept uh, kept true to ourselves, you know, uh, well, got back to ourselves for part of the game. We didn't really keep true to our principles, but we kind of got back to it and uh, came out with that win. And then going into the John Brown game, they, they, we kind of got back to who we were and, and they knew, and we, we talked, especially after the Southwest Christian game, we talked a lot about how, uh, you know, just mimic the season, how life's going to throw you curveballs, the game's going to throw you curveballs, and then the best teams are, are the ones to be able to figure it out early and, and get back on track and get back towards our goal. Well, Coach, you are back now then in the NAI tournament, and you get the top seed in the Park City bracket, bracket A in Park City, Kansas, and so that means you get a bye through the first round. You'll await the winner of the Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles and the Park Pirates. So uh, we're looking then at uh, the, the next game. You take an eight-game winning streak into the national tournament. Yep, yep. And, you know, we're excited, and we know we got two very good teams that – uh, we will play the winner of one of them. So uh, we're excited and we're ta- you know, taking it in stride day by day and just ready to see who we get to play. And at that point, will Coach Francis be back? And, and uh, you know, just from, from your perspective, I know it looks like you guys already have a handle on it, but uh, will that be that full compliment? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's actually um, back this week and, and um, the guys are excited to have him back. He's, I know he's excited to be back, I'm sure. Uh, it was uh, getting a little stir crazy for him to sit and watch on the uh, instead of being on the sidelines. So uh, we're excited and and just really looking forward to it. Well, success to you all then in the national tournament and uh, another bid for USAO again the tenth time making it to the NAI national tournament. And Coach Francis will be back, but Coach Roach. Congratulations to you then and to your team for, you know, making it through a, a very tough Sooner Athletic Conference tournament, an always tough tournament, a, a tough league in, in men's basketball. And, you know, congratulations for you to be able to uh, look back on this and go, wow, this this was a cool time. Thank you very much. You know, like we told the boys too, like this is something that they'll remember and, and tell their grandkids and everything. So this is definitely a memory that I'll have for the rest of my life.